Uh, this is Thursday morning, guys. I'm off to work. But yeah, that white stuff is snow. Lovely. Hey guys, just as we expected, the water is pretty muddy, pretty dirty. Uh, the wind's starting to pick up, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I haven't actually fished in about two weeks, so um, I'm kind of getting cabin fever, so you know, given these conditions today, my goal is just to catch one bass, and that would be, uh, I would consider that a success today. So let's do this. Hope you guys don't mind the chesty today. Oh. That's a first. Oh my god, there's a fish on there. They're in there! <laughs> it's fat. Huh? Fat. Yeah. Got the massive stick fish with it. What oh, my goodness. Look at all the zebra mussels on that. Ugh. Oh my god, I didn't think I had a fish. <laughs> wow, that's a cold fish. Huh. Well, 24 hours later, Sunday morning, gonna go back to the same body of water, but actually way further down. It's where I posted that video with hundreds of bass underwater, that huge school of bass I found. That's kind of the area uh, that I want to go fish today. And hopefully there's some, some of those bass still there. But who knows, with the water temperatures dropping like this, they could have moved back out to the lakes. So yesterday the problem, one of the big problems was the water clarity. Uh, water was just so muddy, so dirty. And I really think that affected the bite. Plus the water, I think it was in the low 50s. Only caught two fish, both pretty small. So yeah, let's just go out there today and uh, hopefully we can get out a few. Stay tuned. So guys, I just basically skunked. I didn't see any bass or anything. Bait fish uh, swimming around that tree, which is it's not surprising. So I guess the big question, all these fish that were on this tree, where'd they go? They go towards the lake or did they go further down the canal? I'm guessing they went further towards the lake. So I'm gonna pretty much make my way out of the canal into the lake and see if I can intersect some of these fish. That's the game plan for right now. Zero fish on the board for right now. Not good, but let's see if we can change that. Well guys, I think I finally may have found some fish. Um, 
I, there's not a lot of them, but I finally found some bluegill. I was just kind of standing up in the kayak and looking for bait, and I finally found a little uh, pod of bluegill and saw a couple bass right here. Honestly, I think the majority of the, the bass that were in this canal and by the bridge and by that tree have moved out to the main lake by now, but there's still a few um, hanging around, so hopefully we can get them to bite. Good, f good fish right there. Finally. There's bigger fish down there. The place we actually found some fish today in this marina is accessible um, by bank. So, yo, th those fish were really uh, finicky. Um, so, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to catch any from the bank, but uh, I figured it might be a little easier than doing it from the kayak and I'll have a better uh, uh, view of them from, from up top. So, let's uh, give it a shot. You know the fishing's tough when they were not even taking a sniff of the drop shot rig. Finally, finally got one. Oh, wow, he came off. That sucks. Trying to swing him. Finally well, got one. Alright guys, I give up. Fishing is super tough right now and I mean those fish are <laughs> they're pretty much just stagnant. They're not moving or reacting to my bait at all so that's going to do it for this weekend of fishing, and uh, wow, it was a tough one, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video either way, and uh, stay tuned for more. Seneca Lake is right there, but uh, a lot of the time in the fall, there's a certain window, it's usually a couple of weeks, where all, a lot of the fish from the main lake will kind of school up on, on these bridges or underneath them. Uh, and feed. I sometimes think of uh, this fall bass fishing, kind of like pre-spawn fishing. You know, you're getting a lot...